Rocket League on keyboard and mouse versus controller. Which is better? Short answer is controller. Most Rocket League pros use controllers, but there are still a few that use keyboard and mouse, which just goes to show that is still a viable option. First, let's go over the pros and cons of controllers. Controllers have 360 movement because of the joysticks. This is an advantage in Rocket League where movement is your aim, whereas in other games, where you look is how you aim. This is why Rocket League is better on controller, but shooter games are generally better on a mouse. Next, you can control the speed and acceleration of the car using a controller. Moving the joystick up a little compared to using a lot of force will change the speed of the car, leading to more precise shots and movement. On a keyboard, however, using this method is impossible, because pressing a key harder doesn't equal more speed. Instead, you have to hold your key longer. This only gets you from 0% to 100%, so it isn't as precise. On a beginner level, this would be a good thing for keyboard and mouse. Since most pros are experienced, every movement counts. Aerial goals are usually easier because you have the device that can turn and roll an infinite amount of directions at any possible speed. This 360 movement is more evident in aerials and can help dramatically if you learn it. The cons of controllers are that they are harder to control for beginners. Just pressing 4 keys on a keyboard is pretty straightforward, especially if you're coming from a PC background. But learning how to use a controller effectively is harder. Although I did say that it does pay off, some might not have the time or convenience to switch from their mouse and keyboard setup to a controller for Rocket League, which is only one game. Using a controller is less customizable to a PC because it has less buttons. Although you don't need to customize much, having that option for a PC is a great deal. Finally, a wireless controller has slightly more latency than a keyboard and mouse. It depends on what mouse and keyboard you get, but the monitor and Wi-Fi probably impacts that more anyways, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Now let's move on to the pros and cons of keyboard and mouse. First pro is that you can customize more. There are like 10 times more things that you can customize. You can even use your mouse sensor as your movement key. This still doesn't mean that it's possible to do 360 movement unfortunately. I think most people would adjust to mouse and keyboard easier when they first try playing Rocket League because it's more straightforward. Most people wouldn't like the inconvenience of buying a controller and getting used to it anyways, so sticking to mouse and keyboard is the best option for them. Some mechanics are even easier I would say on keyboard and mouse like boost and jump. This is because again there are just so many keys. All mechanics except for the most important ones, the movement keys, are better. So in conclusion, if you master keyboard and mouse, just keep using it. Same thing for controller. If you're new, keyboard and mouse is easier to master and has some mechanical benefits over controller. Controller on the other hand is more precise when mastered. Although that would take a longer time, it's what most pros are using. Again, just go with the one that your device came with. If you have a console, go with a controller. If you got a PC, go with your keyboard and mouse. Those who are serious about Rocket League will want a PC with a controller, but for most people, you will likely not improve much if you switch to the other that you're not comfortable with.